So I'm Scott Taylor, I'm the Conservatives Manager here at Kew and at the moment we're busy building the Orchid Festival. So we chose Indonesia as a theme because of its rich biodiversity, notably with orchid species. Over 4,000 orchid species are present in, in Indonesia, but also it has a lot of other rich biodiversity that we're trying to showcase during the festival. Two of our big displays this year are involved around some of the iconic things in Indonesia. Indonesia is very famous for its volcanic activity, so one of our displays involves the build of a volcano. Uh, it's a structure that we've built on the pond, so we had to build a specific platform for it. Then we had to build the volcano itself, so it's essentially a wooden frame that's been clad with metal, chicken wire, fencing, and then rendered. And we've left gaps open then to dress it with all the different plants. There's over a thousand plants going into the display. The pond is always one of our big showpiece areas, so we're hoping it's the same again this year. One of the other iconic plants that comes from Indonesia is the Rafflesia flower. It's a, one of the largest flowers in the world. This plant hasn't been grown yet in cultivation. So we've created ours with using foliage plants to sort of mimic the shape and the color that the Rafflesia flower has. I'm Henk, I'm a florist, and basically I build now animals and displays and things like this arch for Q. When I'm working with my plants, I'm just sort of looking to show off every plant to its best. That is, that is the key. They have this sort of month that they're in, in the limelight and they have to shine. I think probably my favourite type of sculpture to work on during a festival are, are the animals. Uh, because I can really go to town and um, I've, d I've done a lot in moss and there's a few in moss still this year but I've sort of coaxed in a few different materials so we have the, the orangutans that are sort of clad in coir and the material has a really sort of like furry kind of feel and it's the, exactly the right colour for an orangutan, sort of that orangey brownie. But the tiger is made out of dead leaves basically from the glass house so there's nothing that's brought in, it's just all natural from Kew and I love that. So essentially the, the link that Q has with Indonesia is with our science team. Q is working with partners in Indonesia to see which areas should be focused on to preserve, which are the species that need real work doing to them to preserve them. Q has been working with Indonesia and in Indonesia for a long time. Indonesia is an extremely complicated system of islands with a long geological history which is reflected in the flora and fauna of the islands. Indonesia is especially important and interesting for Q staff because it is relatively unexplored. It is quite exciting to walk in the forest when nobody's ever looked for plants before. And any plant you see can be something new and undescribed. I work in the plant assessment unit here at Kew and we make extinction risk assessments of plants. So that's essentially working out how threatened they are. I've been working on a project to assess uh, the orchids of New Guinea. There are 2,850 different species of orchid in New Guinea and 85% of those are found nowhere else in the world. Scientists from Kew go um, collecting plants in New Guinea and they make very careful records of where they've been found and the, the habitat and the locality and they send that information back and also they send specimens for the herbarium and then we can use those specimens for um, determining where the species are found. I really feel that these assessments will give these orchids a voice and hope to uh, protect the habitats that are still there. Seeing the Orchid Festival coming together and seeing it from start to finish has been really exciting. We have students, we have staff, we have volunteers, it's a great effort, everyone coming in. We create all these massive displays based around just one country and it's been really fantastic. So I think one of, one of the things that brings people back every year is just the vibrancy of the colour. It's a dull time of the year when there's not much going on outside in the gardens. Maybe a few daffodils are coming out that are a bit early, etc. But it's quite a quiet time for the garden. So I think it's that vibrancy, that colour, and the fact that there's always something different happening uh, during the festival which brings people back. Mm -hmm.